In this video, we give a definition of monads and adjoint situations in terms of string diagrams and prove the result that every adjoint situation induces a monad by using string diagrams. For an adjoint situation in the language of string diagrams, we have an adjoint functor G, its coadjoint F, and natural transformations, the unit eta and the co-unit epsilon, satisfying the triangle identities epsilon F, F eta equal to the identity on F and G epsilon eta G is equal to the identity on G. In string diagrams, we have the adjoint as the yellow string, the red string as the coadjoint, the unit as the light blue dot, and the co-unit as the pink dot. And these diagrams satisfy the following triangle identities, corresponding to the identities above. For a monad in string diagrams, we have the endofunctor T, a natural transformation mu called the multiplication, and eta called the unit satisfying the associative law for multiplication and the unit law. In string diagrams, we have the endofunctor as the green string, the multiplication as the purple dot, and the unit as the light blue dot. And these diagrams satisfy the following equalities, where the first is the associative law for multiplication, and the second is the unit law. Then we can prove the result that each adjoint situation induces a monad in terms of string diagrams. The associative law for multiplication follows by naturality as can be seen by the lowering and raising of the co-unit pink dot in the diagrams. For the unit law, we can reshape the string diagrams so that we can make a substitution of the triangle identities of the adjoint situation, giving us the identity of the endofunctor. And that completes the proof.